Hello, my name is Steve Baker, and today we want to do a quick demonstration on the installation of the EnviroTrack temperature monitoring device. Today we're going to install these devices inside a freezer and a cooler slash refrigerator. So the first step is installing the sensors. These sensors are always installed from the ceiling down to get the highest reading possible because obviously we know heat rises to the top so inside your freezer and your cooler slash refrigerator you will have a sensor installed in each one of those to monitor those temperature environments 24 by 7. After these sensors are in place we're actually going to verify and make sure that the sensors are not touching anything we don't want anything to provide heat or even cool them down if it's a cold item and you can see here that we put them in the corner in the top so nothing really in, connects to them or it provides anything to catch on. After we've had the sensors installed, now we're going to mount the monitoring device. The sensors connect to the monitoring device and the monitoring device will then talk to the server to provide readings. And as you can see here, it's a small, very small footprint. It provides an LED light on it. Green is good. If you see a green light, it's processing data and gathering readings from the sensors. And last but not least, you want to verify the communication and see that the, sen the device is providing the readings from the sensors to the server. That server can be in the cloud or on site at your location. Depends on your configuration. And you can see here we've actually named the individual sensors cooler and freezer. And we can see the two values that they're providing and this tells us that everything's good to go, that the sensors are reading, data is being processed, and now we can monitor the devices 24-7 and be alerted if they get out of a specific threshold. So that's how easy it is to set up monitoring of your food storage. If you have any questions or comments, we look forward to hearing from you. And once again, we thank you for watching this video. Once again, my name is Steve Baker. Have a good day.